Ugh, today's my last day. If I have the privilege of making my own clothes, why would I not put pockets in everything? But definitely someday along the line, I will start making a detailed tutorial on how I make my garment. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm all dressed up for work. I'm waiting for my colleague to come and pick me up. Today's my last day. Ugh, today's my last day. I never thought this day would come. Like honestly speaking, I never thought this day would come because... Uh, the months felt so long, the days felt so dragged, like, oh Jesus Christ, by today I will be done serving my nation. But yeah, this is my fit. I don't remember when I made this top, I think it was probably during COVID. So I've had this top for like three years, and that's one thing I love about making clothes, like I'm able to make casual things that I can wear all the time, because I don't like the idea of making something that you can only wear once that everybody saw, everybody took pictures, it was all about social media and now you can't wear it again. I don't like that idea. Like, it's okay occasionally, but I like the fact that I can make something I can wear every single day. So yeah. I made a skirt in sewing school. I had this skirt for five years. And it's still in good condition. This week has been a roller coaster of emotions. On Monday, I was so sad and depressed. On Tuesday, I was less sad, but I was still depressed. Wednesday, I was feeling a little bit better. Thursday, I decided to take the day off. Like, I didn't care that I was finishing today. I was like, I just need one day. So I slept the whole day. Like yesterday, I slept. I slept till like 4 p.m. Like I really slept. It was a good day. Let's go to work. And when I come back, I will show you something that I'm working on. I'm so excited about it. I'm so, so excited about it. Like when I come back, I'll show you what I'm working on. I slept in a little look like I don't got work today. Mm. I told you I'm currently working on a dress that I'm so excited about. I am almost done with the sample. I didn't have enough fabric for the gullets on the side. I'll show you in a bit. So I'll probably have to go out and get some. I love the dress. I, I love it so this is the inspo. This is the inspo. I mean there are two inspo, so like this and then this. I got an idea to add a padded bra sort of situation there because this isn't something I want to wear a bra with. Yeah, it'll need to have some sort of padding so I don't have to think about wearing a bra or anything like that. Okay, so this is what the sample looks like. I love it. I put pockets on the side. If I have the privilege of making my own clothes, why would I not put pockets in everything? So yeah, now corrections. First of all, the most obvious problem, this. Initially, I was going to just take all of the excess from this seam here. I think I'll just do an even distribution. I'm just going to work on the, on the left side. Obviously, whatever I do to the left, I'll do to the right. And I want to take a few inches off of this as well. I want the waist to be snatched. Do you get it? Because when it looks like this, it looks a little baggy. I don't like that. Oh, I love the length though. The length isn't too, isn't too short, isn't too long. It's just perfect. Those are the only things I need to correct. I love this. I love it. I'm thinking of making the back a little bit lower. It's fine. But I don't know. I just like showing my back. <laughs> I just like showing my back. So I'm like, should I? Should I? Should I not? But yeah, I think these are the only things I want to correct about it. I love the flare. It has pockets. Happy Tuesday. This is my plan for today. Oh, this was my plan for today. To correct the pattern and then um, possibly start cutting the actual fabric. But Last night, I got a phone call from a friend about a mutual friend's birthday party, more like a surprise birthday party. 
and she was asking if I'm going to be there and I was like, oh sure, because it's like a really good friend. So I don't think I'll be able to cut the fabric today. The party's around six and I'll go to my friend's place and then we'll go together. So probably leave the house like five-ish or four-ish. fun i don't know lots of people at the birthday party but networking saying hi hello crazy conversation that was really fun to do i think i got home around 12 almost 1 a.m do you know the crazy part about it the restaurants didn't serve drinks with alcohol so like the happiness and the excitement that you see in the video that's just us that's just pure us that's just our energy <laughs> but yeah it was really really fun I like how nice and swiftly this week is going. I really like that. Oh, I hope I haven't jinxed myself. My goodness. Let me finish my skincare routine and then I'll go downstairs and start working on the dress. Happy Friday! Yeah, I said Friday because yesterday I didn't I didn't film. Yesterday was very busy. I had to run a couple of errands and stuff, so I I, I didn't want to film. So I haven't started the dress yet, which is crazy because I was giving myself Thursday and Friday to finish the outfit. So it's looking like I might finish it on Saturday, and this video will be out on Tuesday, which is okay. Which is okay because Tuesdays are supposed to be my posting time, so I think we're on track. Let's start working on the dress. ECG has been showing me shaggy the past couple of days. Like my lights were out on Wednesday, on Thursday, so it was like I'm not really gotten the chance to sew or do anything. So the only thing I, I got to do yesterday was the straps for the dress. I've not ironed it yet. Today we're going to start. I'll start working on the front and then you know. Let me give a little disclaimer because I think in one of my previous videos there was the comment in Spanish and I literally had to go into Google Translate to like know what the person was saying but basically she was saying that she feels I should do a detailed tutorial on how I make my garments and the reason I don't do that is because it's very very stressful that's one two I don't really know how I'm gonna teach you guys because honestly speaking, sometimes the pattern making process is just me winging it. Like, I don't know half the time what I'm doing, but I'm just like trying to figure the whole thing out as I go. And I think because I'm able to make a sample or I'm open to making a sample, whenever I make a mistake, I can just easily correct it. It's always better for me to make a sample than to just like cut directly onto my fabric because if I cut directly onto the fabric and the thing goes wrong, knowing myself, I will cry. Like, I would be so upset. 
So most of the time, the pattern making process, I'm just trying to wing the whole thing because I know that, okay, if I make the sample and something goes wrong, I can always correct it. Maybe someday along the line, not even maybe, but definitely someday along the line, I will start making a detailed tutorial on how I make my garments. I'll start with easy things, of course. I'll start with like beginner friendly things and then we move up to like intermediate and hard things, but watch out for that. But for today, you are just watching me make my outfit. Like, there really isn't any, any tutorial. You're just you're watching me make my outfit. That's, that's what we're doing right now. So. not too happy because usually when i make corrections i don't expect to encounter so many mistakes i mean to be fair there's only one mistake so is this something that's inevitable like adjusting the strap that's just up to me it has nothing to do with the pattern but is this on the side i have to take in about half an inch on this side not all the way but just like the top it's annoying because i already did that on the pattern and now i'm wondering if this is happening because the fabric is a little bit stretchy i think that's the only adjustment i need to do before i move on and i add the gathers to the side and everything this isn't close and focus because of how i've pinned this but yeah everything is okay i lowered the back a bit i don't know if you can tell i'm tired i've been working on this outfit today and i feel very very lazy i don't know if my period is coming i'm just feeling very low on energy We'll pick this up tomorrow. Tomorrow we will continue where we left off. today then god willing tomorrow i will post it i'm done with the dress i love her i love it so much the last thing i need to do today is the sides overlocked and the hem overlocked then i'll just flip it once stitch and then press it i won't do my makeup here i'll do my makeup on my friend's place oh my god i didn't tell you guys <laughs> my friend and i are I tried to be doing more of a photo shoot, or I do something like a photo shoot, or I doing it in a brie garden. Um, I need pictures. I promised myself this year that I will take pictures of the things I create, and I've not been doing so good with that. Pictures are for my Pinterest mostly, but I'll I'll post I'll post on my Instagram or something like that. Final touches, and I'll see you at a brie garden. Kills me. <laughs> 